So we've got a couple turbochargers here. We, one's a brand new one and one is a failed turbocharger. Just to give you a kind of an idea uh, of some of the failure modes, uh, when you look at this brand new turbocharger and you look at the, uh, the face of the compressor wheel, uh, you'll see that everything is uh, perfect edges. Um, nothing can touch the face of the compressor wheel except air coming from your air cleaner. So anytime you get damage to the face of the compressor wheel, uh, it's going to be a foreign object that got into your system. Uh, maybe you changed your air cleaner and something fell out and, and got into the intake hose. Uh, maybe your air cleaner was uh, one that one of the guys blew out and the compressed air split the, split the element and allows dust to get through. But it does not take much to the face of your compressor wheel to see that you've got uh, excessive damage to that. And the problem with it is being the fastest spinning piece in your engine, uh, it is a highly precision balanced rotating assembly and if you start taking pieces off the front of that compressor wheel, uh, things come out of balance and things come apart quickly. It'll cause major engine damage. So what causes excessive black smoke? Well there's got to be a particular air fuel ratio that produces clean emissions, no exhaust, that's when everything's running great. If you've got excessive black smoke, that's too much fuel, not enough air. Not enough air, a lot of times, is going to be your turbocharger. So if your turbocharger is making noise, a lot of times it's going to be due to uh, the compressor wheel or the turbine wheel hitting the housing or possibly a center section bearing failure. Um, the center section bearing failure usually happens uh, if you've got uh, diminished oil supply, maybe your return line is kinked off, or maybe you've had an engine failure that's uh, introduced coolant into your engine oil or fuel into your engine oil. Um, coolant and fuel in the engine oil do not lubricate very well, and with the turbocharger being the fastest spinning bearing in your engine, um, it is susceptible to contamination in your engine oil. Uh, which would allow the bearings to fail and then subsequently the wheels to start hitting the housings. So here at Highway and Heavy Parts, we've got all kinds of turbos. We've got new turbos, we've got remand turbos, we've got turbos to fit your needs. Um, the OEM hasn't made their own turbos in, in many years and relies heavily uh, on suppliers to make those turbos for them. Oftentimes we're getting turbos from the very same suppliers that uh, the supply to the OEM for 30 to 50% off retail pricing. When you go to the OEM, a lot of times they're gonna give you a remanufactured turbo. Uh, we like the fact that in a lot of cases that we've got brand new turbos for you, so you don't have to return cores and it just makes it a lot, uh, lot simpler. So if you need a turbo, we've got what you need. Give us a shout, 844-447-1453. Or you can go on our website and use the online quoting tool. We'd be glad to give you a quote at www.highwayandheavyparts.com. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.